This is the question of 2017, May, June, paper 2-3, and the question number is 6. It is concerned with the chapter of current electricity. Uh, in number 8, it says uh, describe the IV characteristic of a metallic conductor at constant temperature. So we know that uh, a metallic conductor uh, follows Ohm's law. So uh, the current should be zero in the beginning, that is at a zero potential difference, and then it must increase linearly. So the graph should be a straight line passing through the origin. In case of a semiconductor diode, uh, at low voltages, a semiconductor diode does not conduct, so that's why current is zero. And uh, after about a certain voltage, for example, in case of silicon diode, uh, it starts to conduct after 0 0.7 volt and then the current starts to increase and increase such that uh, the rate of increase goes on increasing with potential difference now number b two identical filament lamps so we have identical filament lamps are connected in series and then in parallel <coughs> to a battery of electromotive force uh, emf 12 volt and negligible internal resistance as shown in figure 6.1a and 6.1b so such is the character given <coughs> as you can see uh, the graph uh, inclines more towards v as uh, the value of v goes on increasing now we have to use this information this information to uh, information to determine the current through the battery uh, here and here so use this information to find the current through the battery here and here. So in case of figure 6.1a, <coughs> since the bulbs are identical, you know, what we have is according to the voltage divider formula, uh, it will um, there will be 6 volt across this uh, bulb and 6 volt across this bulb like this. And here it will be 12 volt since they are in parallel. Now at uh, 6 volt, at 6 volt, the current is current is so this is a 3.0 so it should be 2.8 so at a 6 volt <coughs> so I can write here uh, PD across across each lamp equal to 6 volt so therefore current is equal to equal to from the graph it is 2.8 ampere 8 ampere so <coughs> since they are in series it is 2.8 ampere here and 2.8 ampere here. So current is 2.8 amperes. Now in the second uh, circuit, we have the PD here across this thing is 12 volt, where the current is 4 ampere. So that's why here we have a 4 ampere and here 4 ampere. So I can write here. <coughs> so PD across, across each lamp each lamp is equal to 12 volt so therefore current is equal to 4 ampere now the current through the battery through the battery is the sum of these two currents so that it should be so i total should be equal to total should be equal to 4 ampere plus 4 ampere equal to 8 ampere so it should be 8 here now we have to find the total resistance in the circuit of 6.1 and uh, 6.2 so the value of a resistance will be uh, since current is like this so here r is equal to the pd is 12 and uh, the current is <coughs> 2.8 2.8 equal to and here also it is uh, r equal to r equal to uh, the total pd is 12 and the total current is 8 so this is equal to let me do the calculation here so when we do the calculation let me search for the calculator app here so in the first case our uh, current will be equal to 12 divided 2.8 that's equal to 4.3 let us say it is 4.3 equal to 4.3 Ohm. In the second case, it is 12 divided 8 equal to 1.5. 1.5, 1.5 ohm. 
Now, in the last question, what we have is power dissipated in a lamp in the circuit of this thing. So, power across this lamp and power across this lamp, or I can say this lamp and this lamp ratio. So, in this case, what we have is the current is 2.8, 2.8, and PD is 6. Current 2.8 and PD is 6. So, power here is power in the first one is 6.1A is equal to current is uh, 2.8 into uh, PD is 6.0 power in 6.1B is equal to <coughs> the current across each lamp is equal to 4 ampere 4.0 ampere into the PD is equal to 12 volt so it should be equal to 2.8 into 6 equal to it is a 16.8 and this is equal to 12 for the 48 so it is equal to 48.0 so the ratio should be equal to so the ratio should be equal to 16.8 by 48.0 so it's equal to divided 48 and that's equal to 0 0.35 so the ratio here is equal to 0 0.35.